So what is Adblock? It's simply an extension to your browser that prevents websites uh, for showing obtrusive ads. And we'll go into that a little bit about uh, what the ads are and are not obtrusive as determined by Adblock. And by the way, it's available for all major browsers except for Edge, but it's coming soon. So if you go to the adblockplus.org website, in whatever browser you're in, you'll see the download link for that particular kind of browser. In this case, it's Internet Explorer. Now, once you click on it, you'll get the usual, whatever browser you're in, you'll get the usual download. At the NIE is at the very bottom of the page, and you'll see the download, and then it'll be ready to run. Just, so just click on the Run button. Now, using IE as an example, you'll see at the bottom of the page, it'll say that the plugin is ready, and you have to enable it. So you have to have a user actually say, OK, go ahead and let it run. Now Adblock will come up and say, please enable the status bar. That's so you can control it. In IE, uh, that's where the controls are located. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go up to the top of IE and right click, and you'll see that we can turn on the status bar by choosing it from the drop down menu. So we click there. So now that it's installed, and you can see it in the status bar, you look down at the bottom, you click on it, and you'll see the, uh, the menu uh, for controlling it. So when we uh, Click on Options, you'll see this screen come up, which allows you to uh, change it. We're not going to go into what to do here. It's, I'm going to cover a little bit later when I cover uh, Edge. Okay, IE might pop up saying you have some stuff that's slow. You see at the bottom of your screen and you want to control that. And Edge, uh, or excuse me, Add Block Plus may be listed. But don't forget, this is set up to show you anything that's less than or more than uh, 0.2 seconds delay. So use your own judgment if you want to enable or disable a particular add-in. Now, if you're viewing this before July of 2016, Adblock's only available for people running the developer version uh, or the insider version of Windows 10. Because it's not being released, uh, it won't work with earlier versions of Windows 10. So you have to have that first. So when you install it, the first time you launch the browser, you'll see up here in the corner, you'll have tells you that it's been installed and you need to say turn it on and here's what it tells you it warns you what it does so uh, after you're comfortable with that just click on uh, turn on so when you do that and you get, be up there in your little corner of your browser uh, right click on it, excuse me and you'll see manage so let's go ahead and click on manage and you'll see here's the settings uh, that you can take a look at and it tells you what it all does and uh, one of the things that I do is I turn on the button next to the address bar so I can take a look at it if I get, want to get to it fast to change my settings. So you go down here and you can say turn that on. Now the first thing you'll see is some screens, informational screens, but eventually you'll get to a configuration screen like this. And you'll see that this is the default settings. And pretty much you can live with just these, uh, but you can also uh, check out some other stuff. Uh, by the way, if you look down here, you'll see that you can read some more about it. And let's take a look at what Adblock does and what it doesn't do out of the box. Now, because it's not trying to stop all ads, it's trying to stop obtrusive ads. Let's just figure out what that is. Now, if you read here on this page and you scroll down, you'll see an uh, illustration of what they are. Uh, it shows you what placement are good and what are not. The ones in the middle of the, of the article are not good. Sides and tops are fine. Here's another one. Uh, things at the bottom, depending upon where it's at, they are or are not uh, allowable. And uh, so Adblock will stop that. And also on other stuff, depending upon its size and placement, the size of the ad makes a difference as well. Now I'm not going to go through all of this and show you all the different uh, things and explain each one of them. I'm just going to read them yourself and make a decision if the standard stuff's good enough for you, you want to be more aggressive and uh, block most of the ads. Yeah, besides what it does and how it does it, you also can go in here and take a look at uh, some of the lists that it uses to create a list of sites to block and what to block on the sites. And you can take a look at that in here and make your own decision there. Um, so just take a look at those if you want to as well. Now, if you're a little bit of a techie guy, you want to take a, do your own stuff, you can actually click on the list and take a look at some of the list and you'll see here that there are things like some Google, some uh, some uh, YouTube, uh, Amazon uh, that are on the default allow list. So uh, take a look at those and uh, just let you know that uh, what's still available 
uh, somewhat low techy, but you can take a quick glance at this. Now, if there's some websites you want to see ads on, uh, I don't know which ones those would be, maybe uh, some uh, other things, you can click on the uh, website domains and add a domain. Now, I'm going to add my website in here just for demonstration purposes. So if I type in here www.oldguygeek.com uh, and then I'm going to add that domain, click on the add domain button and there it is listed below. So you'll see that if we go to my website and we scroll down, you'll see on the right there, the click add uh, is there, it's being allowed. Uh, so obviously my site's been excluded from the banned list. So if I remove that and I go back, guess what? It no longer shows ads there. Oh, by the way, go up into the top right-hand corner and you'll see a counter that tells you how many ads were blocked for that site. So you'll know whether or not it's working for the site you're currently on. Okay, now let's talk about adding more sites to be blocked if they're not a site's already showing ads, but you, know, you want to have more. Just go to that, uh, get the website address, and just type it in here. We're going to use MSN as an example. So I'm going to type that in here, and then we're going to simply click on uh, Add Filter. And now we're going to go look at MSN. So here we are. We're going to click on it to watch it load, and we'll see it come up. And what's important to note here was something you can't see. There's no top ad. There's a blank spot over here, but I don't think that's related to ad block. Uh, but there's and there's no ads missing here as well so uh, let's take a look here and we're going to just turn it off for a second and we'll go back and reload MSN and click on refresh and you'll notice that now that it's off the blacklist you'll see that it refreshes and boom we get an ad up here in the top so the takeaway here is that if you find a site that has a ad at the top like that or somewhere where it's it's really bothering you, just go back in here and add it to this list here uh, and add it to your block list. So there's Adblock Plus. Go ahead to the Windows uh, website. Remember the link's in the description of this video. Uh, go ahead and download it, play with it, adjust it, and you'll find out that you're uh, bothered a lot less by those uh, pesky ads. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10 and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10 and general how-to videos all here to help you make the most out of your system.